So, well, what are we got? What is it? Okay, what? What did I do? Eh. I wanted to hit your hat. Yeah, I, I don't know. What are we doing here again? Um, I'm sorry, guys. Here to it's talk like, about candy. Yeah, it's like 12:30, so in the afternoon. Well, yeah, a past <laughs> past about 11 o'clock. I I start to. That may be why leave. we get to be talking so. Yeah, silly we, too. we really shouldn't be doing these. We should do night. the. Yeah, we shouldn't because we get because to rant. And I, I wake up at night. I really do. And I'm, we get I'm to an ranting hour. and rambling and talking oh, yeah. about yeah. everything. I mean, I okay, can so talk can to, get to the point for hours. So, I've yeah, I've, I've walked in to his room and he's just talking. To, there's no well, one. I, I have a mirror in my room too, so it really doesn't help. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. And it talks back. Or well, it moves its mouth back to me, so I'm like, Hey, how are you doing? Well, in Warehouse 13, Pete played ping pong with the mirror image of himself, so... Yeah, I watched a dude on YouTube do that, too. He was he went bowling. It was scary. He went bowling. Yeah, he, like, bowled... He, he tossed... It was a magic video. The dude pulled the ball into a mirror, and then it hit the pins, like, inside the mirror. Ah. And there wasn't any pins on the side, but it, was, but there, it hit the reflection of the pins, like, rolled through the mirror. You see what uh -huh, I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It was, like, super cool. That's tricky. Magic. Okay. So okay. we have this. Yeah. Little bitty. Not a little pretty ditty. No, oh, little bitty pretty one. Okay. My first thought was little ditty. Okay. I think that's... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I have had too much sugar. Yeah. Okay. But no. The next if two. Only that was it. The next two candies we're going to be doing are. Have been along, around a long time. A long time. These have been around since 1893. I don't, I don't really want to eat a candy that's that old. I mean, it might be like moldy or something. It smells okay. What is it with you and snorting the candy, man? <laughs> well, did you know? Did you know how uh, they they found out that the football players had been snorting coke? They had ice cubes up their nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How you mm -hmm. fit an entire ice cube up your nose? It was nose. probably crushed ice. It was probably oh, like okay. the little. Yeah. Because like at college those and stuff. Ice so, cubes. Well, they though, have they have little. They're like little pellet ices. They're not yeah. like the big chunk ices. Anyway. These, so these have been, how long? 1893. Wow. Yeah. And the other ones that we're doing have actually been around longer than these. Yeah. Wow. That's so, amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. Okay, so these are... Reed's Butterscotch. And weirdest thing. So they're kind of similar in format to a Lifesaver type thing. Yeah, they are. They're but they're individually, individually wrapped. wrapped. And I'm trying to and see. And when you have a roll like this, it you, does not say how many are in a roll. You want to try and kind of measure there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's eight. About eight. About eight. Yes. Okay. About eight. So yeah, yeah. it is a but, but hard you know, round when you have candy. Somebody's trying to snatch them from off camera. You yeah. gotta protect them. But when you have like a, you have a roll of lifesavers, you know that like in the middle there, there's just nothing all the way through. Yeah, it's hollow inside, and so you're getting gypped by by that. You know. When yep. you, okay, so here is now, what remember these. Remember, that's mom's. Don't eat it. I lick it. She won't know. Y'all are married, so what I guess she that'd doesn't. Be okay. What she doesn't know won't hurt me. This, okay, this. so here is they. Is they're so sticky? funny. Is not, not, not really. No, okay. it's not. I mean, it, a little sticky. tad, a little. I mean, just not. I mean, just it's candy. Yeah. It's it's a hard candy. Okay, but look, there's no hole in the middle. In fact, it's bigger in the middle. Yeah, it's like bummed. It's like a little UFO. Help me, help me, I'm going to be adopted, I'm going to be adopted. Ah! All right, 
So that's what they look like. These are the, the these are the butterscotch ones. Um, now I know if you've ever had a butterscotch candy, one of my you big know complaints. That they are terrible. Well, maybe that some people don't like them probably. But no, the butter, they're, they're good. like a butterscotch disc, that that are obviously they're a little bigger yeah, than this. Yeah. But when you have those butterscotch discs, a lot of times you'll get like an air pocket in there, mm -hmm. and, and it will like dissolve. But then there'll be a whole, and then sharp. and they'll sharp and they'll slice your tongue open, uh -huh. and then you'll be bleeding all over. And oh, that's that's and not. And then pretty. your butterscotch turns from yellow to red, and we all know red's bad. Well, really, kind of an orange because you mix the red with the yellow of the butterscotch. And it kind of yeah. It. Anyway. But it's not pleasant, not pleasant at all. Mm -hmm. And then your tongue hurting. And, and then, then you can't taste yeah. your candy, which was really good just a second ago. And yeah. was... But I, now, I I cannot vouch for every Reed's candy that there's Very ever true. been. Not even every single individually I know, wrapped I can, thing in the roll. No, but uh, it seems like almost every butterscotch disc I've ever had did that at some point. Yeah. And that the, the ones of these that I've had did not. No, they did they were not. Solid all solid the way all through. the way through. Smooth. Uh, they not. would dissolve a little unevenly. Yeah, well, that's. But I mean, that's that's they just have that's to do with where you, how you yeah. lick it or where you put it in your mouth. Or but no, they they did not get the hard, sharp edges. Yeah, they cut right. your tongue open. So so on texture, that is a definite plus. Definite plus. Like definitely a three on the texture. I mean, it was it was definitely good on the texture. And do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? They put real scotch in it. No, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. We shouldn't have eaten these right before we went on camera. Oh. <laughs> no, that natural butterscotch. So, yeah. as far as flavor goes, and oh, like, did you see yeah. the? Yeah, I did. I did. Butter. Ah! They actually have butter, and of course, sugar. So yeah, what, what um, kind of candy would it be without sugar? The It'd be diabetic the candy or something. Reed's candy gets props for having. Natural butterscotch flavor and butter and butter. They didn't use like some so, hydrogenated soy oil or something. Bonus points. Yes. Bonus points. Bonus points. So three on the texture. Three on texture because it was. Smooth. And then the the flavor. Flavor. It Excellent butterscotch actual flavor. Actual butterscotch yes, flavor. So actual, I mean, it was, we got it. And it it wasn't weak. It wasn't. No. It was a good strong butterscotch yeah. flavor all the way through. Uh, wasn't uneven or anything like that, yeah. so definitely good on that. Uh, what's and the, other, the other one is the sweetness, and I think it I was think so bitter. I hated it. It was butter, not bitter. All oh, right. It was a better butter, not a bitter butter. Better. It was bitter. so alcoholic. I hated it. And it, you know, I don't know what scotch tastes like. Me neither. But I, I probably should never give it. Is if it, it better tastes, than bourbon? I don't. I don't know. But if it, if it tastes like these butterscotch candies, I should probably yeah. never drink it, or I would be seriously addicted. Yeah. I mean, that I could tell you. So yeah, um, yeah I that's... don't remember. I think we are confused last episode uh, about the lemon mints. I think these are the ones that cost like $2, $2.50. Maybe so. Because yeah. these are like old-fashioned, fancy, fancy, and they cost a lot more. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it all out. Yeah, I need to go downstairs and get my pricing papers and see how much everything mm -hmm. costs. I'm going to go into the office and look it up. Thank you, Sean Connery. Yeah. Very James say, Bond. No. The butterscotch candies are worth any price that you would pay. I, you know, I'm not sure what it is, but Sean Connery, the actor, he always sounds drunk to me. Well, that's just his bro. It's just rogue. the way. Yes, he's the rogue. Yes, it's a Scottish rogue, and that's the way. I mean, that's just. Okay. It's like like they can't say bottle; they say bottle. It sounds like they're drunk. Give me my bottle. Well, who says bottle unless they're drunk? You would say bottle, yeah. but but they can't. They can't for some reason. And I've got well, to take their mouth to their mouth for I've, I've got to take my daughter to the daughter. Yeah, we noticed that one a lot on Doctor Who. Yeah. Where yeah. Amy was Amy would be talking to the doctor about her daughter, and she's like, daughter, was daughter, 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 daughter. And we're like, daughter. okay, wait, wait, was that about your doctor or your daughter? I don't know. Who are we talking about here? I'm confused. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that, that's just, that is the way it is. Mm -hmm. so yeah, all, all anyway. threes? All threes. All threes! Triple three. It's a triple crown. Or something. That's a horse racing thing. Is it? Yeah. 
okay. the Triple Crown. I, I can't oh, yeah. Pass, but yeah. The Kentucky Derby and a couple of others. So, yeah. The Kentucky Derby's the only um, one anybody cares about. Next episode, I will hopefully have pricing papers. Uh, so I can Ooh, tell you. Pricing papers! <laughs> Accounting! Wait, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, that's this me. is my job, guys. I get to figure out how much all this stuff costs. How much it costs us. Yeah. And then figure out how much we're having to pay for the shipping and the rent and the taxes and the yep. commissions and the fees for credit cards yep. and and then still lose money it's, yeah. yeah it's, it's kind of <laughs> sad <laughs> if we need your help i, I put please I help put, us i put all this work into this and then we still wind up losing money on yes it. but also during the next episode i must say that we are going to review a fine british candy for the first time i believe this is our our first British candy, is it not? Yes. Yes, I do believe it is. Well, I'm, I haven't exactly been keeping track of all the I, candies we've done. So. I, well, I, 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 I can make that. But anyway, if you are a fan of Harry Potter, the thing we're going to be reviewing next time is actually something that is mentioned. I don't know that it's this, it's not like this it's, brand, no, but it, it is something thing. that is mentioned in the Harry Potter series in the movies i don't i don't remember if it was in the books or not i think it was in the books yeah yeah oh, very well. all right well toodaloo and we'll see you next time here on the soda saloon selection i thought you were going to say here on bbc soda saloon oh the bbc soda saloon yeah. we should we should get on a british channel and i don't advertise to can them. you can you imagine what, how they would mock my British accent and how horrible it is? I'm only doing this. I'm wearing. I'm wearing my you, shirt. Okay, hang on. Can you imagine <laughs> how I'm gonna mock your British accent when we get off camera here? Yes, but you can dare do it on camera because I've heard your Cockney. Hey, I had a pretty good Cockney. Oh yeah, prove it. In the next episode, I'll do a British accent the entire time, and you do your Cockney, and we'll see who has the best. All right, fine. We'll, I need, a, I we'll need a the bottle viewers. in one hand. I need a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only, I'm, I'm just, I couldn't help. I was, I was Dr. Doolittle in a theater production and I had to practice the, the British accent and yeah, I, I actually, I'd, I'd lost it. It sounded a bit of, terrible. I don't know. Some people thought I was a British gentleman. They didn't. And when I came off stage and was, We're talking, British lady. was talking like a sorry Southern gentleman. My name's Colonel Sanders, y'all. All right. Well, so when I was talking more like redneck, yep. they uh, they're like, "Wow, you sounded like a gentleman up there, and now you just sound like a redneck." So, anyway, and so yeah, we will be back next episode with our British candy. Same soda time, same soda channel. Is soda that, time. Oh, it's always soda time somewhere. And that reminds me, I wonder if they're cold yet. They should be. We've got yeah. one more to do, and then we get to drink them. Yes, coming up soon, uh, we will have a head-to-head those, -head those, those between sodas. two grape sodas. And then after that, at some point... I just point, wish we were having a head-to-head -head between two great sodas instead. You might like one of them. You're right. I, it's I mean, possible. It's any, anything's possible. I mean, I have, been, I have been more surprised by some of these... Triple cola. I mean... Oh, yeah. Can I say triple cola? I mean... It's I'm amazing. Just, I, I don't understand how it's not the best-selling cola in the United States. And as States. long as it's been around, I know. too. As well, it's still, I mean, it was new to the party. I mean, I mean, Coca-Cola yeah, was like 1880-something. Yeah, so. yeah. We, we looked that up. So Anyway, so, yeah. we got to go. Come back next time and We'll enjoy. see those British candies next time.